this whole reenactment, the child is induced into adopting the victimized child role, which automatically defines the other parent as abusive, which automatically allows the new parent to become the protective parent. And that's an important feature, that protective parent role, because that's the role that's allowing this parent to manage their trauma anxiety. So you will see that prominently displayed by the narcissistic borderline parent. I'm the protective parent. Okay. The abusive will be carried by the child. It's the child who's accusing the other one of abusive. And occasionally the narcissistic borderline parent will toss in a little sign. I, they were just like that with me in my marriage. I know just how the child feels. So they'll offer a little support for the child for doing that. But really the core role is the protective parent. Interesting, a phrase you will often hear with the narcissistic borderline parent in this is, I just want what's best for the child. It sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Do you know what? We all want what's best for the child. And it has the implication, I want what's best for the child, as opposed to the other parent who's so selfish and just thinking of their own needs. And they just want to be with the child. When the child doesn't want to be with them, they won't let the child come spend all their time with me. How selfish of them. That's the underlying message that's being communicated by, I just want what's best for the child. And they're trying to present as the all wonderful parent. So if you get a parent coming in and presenting as all wonderful, be suspicious. The, sometimes I will use a detective metaphor for clinical psychologists. We come on a crime scene and we gather information, clinical data, and then try to figure out what took place. So if you look at that metaphor for a detective, imagine a detective going on a murder scene and finding a typewritten unsigned note that says, my name's Bill Smith, I committed this murder. Would you go, well, the case solved. I've got a confession from Bill Smith. That'd be a pretty lousy detective. If you get a kid coming in saying, I hate my other parent, they're mean to me. It'd be a pretty lousy psychologist if you just go, oh, okay, I guess so. Okay, there's all sorts of complicated dynamics, role reversal relationships, cross-generational coalitions, reenactment trauma. We need to look much deeper into this.